It's quite simply the biggest win in U of L football history, and the Cards didn't waste any time jumping on the Gators in the Sugar Bowl. On the first play from scrimmage, Terrell Floyd picked off the Gators' Jeff Driscoll and brought it back 38 yards for a touchdown, 7 nothing Cards. I think it kind of set the momentum. It said that, that, that got us going, and I think that got the team going. It's a big play. We felt like if we ever got a lead, then if we could maintain it, then it would be hard for them to score. And when Teddy Bridgewater hit Devontae Parker for this 15-yard score, U of L led 24-3. It was 24-10 at the half, time for the 30,000-plus U of L fans to start celebrating. Not one, but two Florida penalties on the opening kickoff of the second half gave U of L the ball at the Gators 19, and it only took Teddy one play to make them pay. The strike to Damian Copeland. Bridgewater finished 20 of 32 for 266 yards and two scores. Cards win the Sugar Bowl 33 to 23. It meant a lot, you know, not just for this school, but, you know, for the city of Louisville. It meant a lot, you know, to see these fans travel all the way down to New Orleans and just show their support. It, it's great to give back to those fans. You know, our kids, they played unbelievable. But I say this, this game ball goes to that crowd right there. Our fans got here, and our players knew this. They had enough fans here, but they did not want to let them down. They had to play for themselves, play for their teammate, and then play for these fans. That's exactly what we did. We proved that we can do it. Everybody said that we couldn't do it. You know, every time we, somebody did an interview, they would talk about our offense, but it was never anything about the defense. And we, we came to show the nation that we are the real deal. Unbelievable, man. Too excited right now. I mean, words can't even explain how, how I'm feeling right now. What does this mean for you? About, it's got to be the biggest uh, football win in school history. I, I think it the... is. I think it is. And, uh... I don't know, it just feels so good. Yeah, there's no way to express it. Well, it's without a doubt the biggest win in school history, but the greatest thing about it is the way they prepared for this game. And I think the fan turnout, and you know what, the greatest the greatest line I've heard was from Paul Houlihan, who's the president of the Sugar Bowl. And he came to me and he says, without the red, we were dead. This kid Fetty signals the end of the Cards 11-2 season and Sugar Bowl championship, but also the beginning of what could be a magical 2013. They figured to start the year ranked in the top five, and Teddy Bridgewater has definitely laid the foundation for a Heisman Trophy campaign. With the Sugar Bowl champion Cards in New Orleans, I'm Kent Taylor, Wave 3 Sports. On Wednesday night here in New Orleans, the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, the seats here were filled with red and black. U of L fans came out in full force to support the cards. Did that blow you away when you saw how many were out here and how much of an impact they could make? Oh yes, you know. Uh... Coach Strong always talked about what makes SEC teams so great is their fan support. And today, you know, our, our fans pretty much outshowed, up, outshowed uh, the University of Florida. This game ball goes to that crowd right there. Our fans got here, and our players knew this. They had enough fans here, but they did not want to let them down. They had to play for themselves, play for their teammate, and then play for these fans. That's exactly what we did. The city of Louisville should be very proud. I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect it. I knew we had sold a decent amount of tickets through the school, but these people showed up out of nowhere. I mean, every practice, every morning. Best fan support I've ever, I've, I've ever seen or heard of. It won't be hard to energize the fan base for 2013, especially with Charlie Strong and Teddy Bridgewater back. Covering the cards at the Sugar Bowl, I'm Kent Taylor, Wave 3 Sports.